sound's going to be. Very windy. There's a lot of glass here though. Reasonably frosty. On fire glass, I think, possibly. Oh, I, I really hope my new muff is living up. You never know what washes up on the high tide mark. I'd say that's an old pop bottle. It's pretty there. Lady, was that a chess piece? It's a chess piece. Need something white to see. Hide. What's that? What's that? I quite like that. It's a figure. Oh, it's a mermaid. <laughs> quite like that. That's quite a nice day. It's smooth. Oh, I like that. I can take that. I think she's a mermaid. Be a miracle if this sounds any good. <laughs> Found anything? Oh, oh, is that a fossil? Oh, and a buckle. Oh, this is good. <laughs> There's a fossil. Fossilized sponge. We did a whole film of the days at the beach where you find them. Tiny fossilized sponge, they did use them as beads because it looks like a bead. And then there's a nice buckle. It's a bit encrusted, but. Oh! What does it say? So. This. Synoxid, and it's like a primer for a bullet. Oh, okay. But it's not empty. Oh. Oh, well then, yeah, let's probably leave that. Yeah, do, do we just leave it though? Oh, you throw it in the water. Okay. Because uh, it's like, it's a primer, not a bullet. I think it's German possibly, oh. but it does say that so it, three, it compo composed of three elements, one which is explosive to start it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, if you make a record of it... Yeah, it's probably better safe than sorry. Yeah. I don't, I don't know much about, I don't know enough about them. Um, but it's not empty. No, it's definitely not. But I don't know, I mean, is it like, but... The amount of explosive in it, is it like I a I don't snap? know, it's pretty you know? tiny, isn't it? Yeah, is it like a... Um, let me do a little bit more research. <laughs> yeah. I want to see... Okay. Is this a mermaid? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Quite busty. <laughs> Is she a mermaid? Or is she sort of like a bust? Or is it like a bust? I a don't know, but we bust. can see, we can find out the, the trademark like maybe. It. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, at one point it says, how dangerous are bullet primers? Even the smallest cartridge primers will produce a powerful explosion. I don't know if that's modern ones, but I think I'd rather be safe than sorry, so we're going to leave it there. Or oh, should we throw it back in? <laughs> We'll throw it back in the water. So we've got... Oh, 
goodness, it's windy. Got some good copper nails. And a piece of lead with a hole through it. I'll take it off the beach and I'm sure we can use it somehow. What else do we have? Okay, I've been squirrelling away in this patch, finding copper nails, a bit of broken typeface, various metal bits, and then I just picked up this tiny, tiny piece, and I believe, oh, wrong aside, it is an E or an F typeface, and it is so tiny. And actually, whilst I've been showing you that, what's this? Oh, it's another piece of typeface that's seen better days. Unfortunately, the end left isn't the one with the letter on. Is that a piece of coconut? Yes, it is. It's always the coconut. It looks like a lead animal figure, doesn't it? It does look like something. Oh, well, maybe if you clean it up, it might be. It's odd, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, chicken, the back of a chicken. Yeah, something like that. Measuring. I'd say a thermometer, but it doesn't have a hole in it. That'd be quite nice in the doll's house, I reckon. The doll's hospital, maybe. What's this? Oh, I thought. Random lead, I'll take that. A few metal things. typeface. I think it's a U or a V oh, or is it an A? No, it's a U. I think it's a U. Brilliant. Typeface day for me. Post office bag seal. Goodness, it is windy. Oh, another hidden one. Post office bag seal. Miscellaneous lead. Another very windy and cold day of winter larking. But is that a round lead bag seal? I'd say it probably was. 
something written on it. Yeah, no it doesn't but it's a fun shape. This might be quite an unexpected find. Is it a bead? Let me have a close-up look. No, it's a small, oh goodness, the wind. It's a small glass knob, a uh, ball, but that'll be very handy and it's very pretty. It's a good colour too. Well that's a very shiny find laying down there. Stainless and living up to its name by Macavenia, Macaven and Cameron. Ooh, so I'll show you a close up of that and see what I can find out about them. Amazing. It's in such good condition, that's crazy. You could still use that. What are we thinking? Do you think it's going to be complete? have an extraction. Okay, so I know I, I set myself a rule that I wouldn't, I wouldn't take home any more bottles, but it's only little and it's green and it will be really good for putting like sweet peas in and stuff, so I think I'm going to have to. It's only dinky and green, so. And I haven't found a bottle in, a bottle in so long, so yeah, I think I'm going to have to take it. Odd piece of metal. It's like serrated. What oh, that would have been. Goodness. Long old trek to Mum's bag. Safely away. Post office seal. much green. <laughs> it's just a sea of tiny metal bits. I and mean, this is an odd shape thing. But there's something silver there. There's that silver. Was it wire? <laughs> it seems odd that everything is green. And then this is silver. No, might take it and see. Could be silver. There's another bit. That's. Yeah, I'm gonna put these on this rock because I don't have my box at the moment. But this again could be silver. Everything around is green, apart from these two pieces. The silver. So. Gonna, oh, I'm gonna keep them there. Oh, where did it go? No, oh, where did it go? Did I just push it into the mud? Oh, okay, that piece of silver's just gone, if it was silver. It's just vanished. I don't understand. <laughs> it was there, and then it wasn't there. I don't think it's in the mud. Is it in the mud? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just gone. That's so weird. 
I've just got muddy fingers. Got a little stud, and what is slowly becoming my finds of the day, I believe that's another piece of typeface. And it is, oh, that one is most definitely an E. Wow, okay, cool. What a great typeface day. Not had one of those in a long, long time. Okie dokie, there are a lot of lead post bag seals here, which oh, we don't really have a use for them. We've made a floor out of them, we can always make another, but they're just, it's not great to leave them in the water. Is that another piece of typeface? Oh, no, don't think so. Might be a space saver. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, is that another one? Oh, that one's kind of hollow. Maybe that's like a bag seal or something instead. And actually, I'm going to come back to this little patch because there's still lots more lead. But I've just looked up here. Is that another one? Oh, it's a bit unclear. It might have been an L. It might be a bit sadly damaged. More lead. There's a lot of lead here around and we put this away and then look some more okay does that look sorry about the wind exciting oh yes but not not really um is that more typeface no hmm what should Lead. Lead post office bag seal. More lead post office bag seal. What are you? Mm. What's this? Hmm. Come in handy. Lead. Lead. Goodness, this is a little lid. This is a very metally patch. Good nail, more lead bag seals, lead, lead, oh, a round one, oh, lead, oh, this is, <laughs> it could be, found another piece of typeface that's a 10. So what an amazing day this has been so far. It's quite a fun shape, looks a bit like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. Is that what they're called? One of those ships. <laughs> An escutcheon. Quite a crude one, but I like it. And <laughs> potentially... Hmm like a square on it or maybe a tiny G or something potentially more more typeface well there's a coin but <laughs> it's not a good coin is so funny. Me and Mum were just talking about how we used to find coins here and badges and I don't know if I've not just found something exciting. Oh it is! Has it got a hole on that side? No. Is it a pendant? A little hole in the top there and you see how decorative it is? Obviously it's missing a tiny bit there. 
Oh, what is it? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I think that's my find of the day. Sorry about the wind. Bracket you in. What has it got on it? Oh, I think it's got like those beautiful intricate sort of initials, or, like letters. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'll go show mum. That is so funny. We're literally just talking about lamenting the days we would find these sorts of things here. And there it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Actually, wait. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, Mum, maybe you want to come over and have a look over here. Okay. Oh, that's a part of a crown. Okay, right. Well, there are my two finds on this spot. Let me show Mum, and then. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've just found this part of a crown. <gasps> that's so weird. <gasps> and just before I found <gasps> this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Oh my goodness, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm so I'll step back off this spot just in case there's all sorts of, it's this area, literally one was here and one was here. There's a button that the, the holes have gone, worn away. Oh, it might still have some writing on though. So you might, yeah, you can see STR. Might be able to find something. These things are always here and they're very disheartening because you think, and I think I saw another one, yeah, up here. It, look, it looks exciting. And then it's not. I don't think that is one of them though. Oh yeah it is. Yeah, the lovely flower fastenings. They're both too attached. Unfortunately, if I try and get them off, they'll just break. A couple of interesting metal pieces that look per just perfect and ready to be made into miniatures or to be put into miniature scenes. This has markings on it. So clean take it and clean it and see what it says might be interesting there is a lot of metal here today and i can see one two any more i will pick them all up and then see if there's any letters on them is that writing up oh my fingers have gone numb oh no it's just a shop but handy Oh, I may have been. Oh, one of these fun things which are always good in miniature projects. Um, oh, I may have been over ambitious. I'm um, excited over not what the word is about finding more typeface. Is it is the important half? Potentially. So let's look at the two we've already picked up. Oh, and there's another. Oh no, I'm balancing. One there. Oh, come back in a second. I think we've got a three and a T. With those ones. I imagine that is complete. But we don't need it, so I'm not going to remove it from the safety of its little that's not going to get damaged by the tide anytime soon. A lid and that's a cool thing and underneath I thought it was a coin but is it going to be a key? <laughs> I imagined it was going to be a key. Is it complete? Oh no! Just the top. But that looks like it's a TNT but it looks like it's got some really interesting stuff on it writing. It's 
some other stuff. And as we found, you can get some fascinating history from Keys. So we will let you know if that's got any. That look like it could be interesting. Oh, yes, I think it does. To clean that up. It's got lines on it. Hmm, that might be clean up and see what it is, job. Oh my goodness! I haven't built them yet. Are they Jesus? I think that's part of a crucifix. It's a crucifix when he's when he's on it, isn't it? That's what makes it. I think that's Jesus's legs. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. They're so detailed. How weird is that? That is very unusual. Goodness, shame it wasn't the whole thing, but yeah. that's really cool. It's so windy. I know. Cool. Off a nail though. No initials on it film this just in case it's worth soaking. We do that sometimes because you never know. What's that? <gasps> oh my goodness, <laughs> Mum. Is that what I think it is? It's ladybird. I think, and I did find that half a Niger brother. Take my glove off my hand for I me. did find that half a Niger brother bead here, didn't I? It is glass. It's a Niger ladybird. Or 1920s uh, glass uh, ladybird. Oh my goodness, I just put my glove. I haven't put my glasses <laughs> on. No, I haven't oh really found goodness. anything about Jesus' legs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a look at it whilst you've got your glasses. Oh, it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, and you can tell because look, the back's got that, the stripes like the 1920s beads, the beautiful glass. That is stunning. It's like it's not. No, it's like a pendant, not, yeah. All like one of the animals. No, it doesn't go all the way through, yeah. That is amazing, okay. I think that's oh, the that find of the day. Cold, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, it's 1920s, definitely. That's amazing. That's the find of the day over my metal ones, that's, oh my goodness. Wow, oh, thank you. <laughs> Is this our shirt? Oh, it's TG and Green, but we can talk about them. There's like stripy pottery and spotty pottery. Cool, nice. cold which you might have been able to tell my voice was quite nasal so yeah it was a it was a slight struggle <laughs> <laughs> but but pleasantly surprised how much metal has been stirred up by all these storms that we've been having mm. and I mean I wasn't really complimentous that much <laughs> it wasn't I was struggling but you found some good things and it gives me hope that there will be there things there in the future mm. I mean, you found the best thing of the day. I did, but I just think I was being rewarded for going mudlark in the really bad cold. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we should probably start with the best find of the day, the yeah. last find of the day, yeah. which is your 1920s glass ladybug, ladybird. Um, we think maybe it's a charm. Yeah, you might have had charm. a jump ring. Yeah, in that it's just got a single hole at the top. But it's beautiful and it's got the same sort of stripes in the glass. As some, oh, some of the other figurative check glass pieces, aren't they? Like a bead. Yeah. And the pig. Yes. Yeah. See this this pig has the same 
stripes, sort of clear stripes in the glass. That's definitely 1920s and it's UV. So, yeah. It's incredible. It's beautiful. Oh, it's an odd number of spots on each side, which is impossible in real ladybirds, isn't it? Oh, really? What, oh, how, what number? It's got four, four on one side and three on one side. Seven? Yeah. So then it's lucky? Maybe. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. 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 Maybe it's made it a lucky ladybird. Mm. A ladybird's lucky? <laughs> uh, they represent money, I think. Oh, well, maybe lucky money. Maybe lucky money. <laughs> <laughs> Is seven lucky? Seven? I thought eight was luckier. No, I think seven's lucky. Where? Lucky seven. Eight is lucky in Japan. Now we've got to look that up. <laughs> lucky, lu lucky seven, lucky seven. Seven, it's like a, a thing. Seven's very, very lucky. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Around the world for, for many myths and folklore, ancient beliefs believe that the seventh son of the seventh son would be gifted with magical powers. Yeah, seven's quite a... In the Bible, scholars claim that God created the world in six days and used the seventh day to rest. Seven's a, a special number. So that would make sense that they would make it add up to seven. Hmm. So it is lucky in Japan, number eight. Um, but it's different from why it's lucky in Chinese culture. In Japan, eight gives an idea of growing prosperous because the letter, in the way it's written, slightly broadens gradually. Oh. So, yeah. Completely off topic. <laughs> but that would explain why it's got seven spots. A little odd, but would explain it. So, my f my favourite find of the day, um, unfortunately I don't know anything about it. Oh, uh, this is crazy though. It's this beautiful, I'm thinking like a pendant or a medallion of some sort, because it's just got one hole in the top and nowhere else. But it's got a beautiful, I think it's like an S, a H and an I maybe? Um, it could either be like an insignia for a family, mm -hmm. or it could stand for some sort of institution. Yeah, beautiful. But I have no idea. That's always a trouble, wasn't it, with letters intertwined? You never know which one letters first. No. Do. So, mystery finds. We've got a couple of mystery finds, but yeah, that one, if you could help us, if you've got any idea how to go about thinking Maybe we'll put a real close-up of it. Yeah. Then you found the other. And then the unreally sad, really sad partial crown fragment. You can definitely tell it was a crown. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell what... King or queen. No. No, but it is beautiful. Probably a... Like a off the a uniform I imagine of some sort. Yeah. Amazing. And I just I, I love the metal bits. Talking of metal bits, we've got your other find. <laughs> <laughs> Which are is Jesus's legs. <laughs> On a crucifix. And it's really, really heavily detailed really detailed no idea how old it could be really old mm, it's a shame yeah it's a shame the rest of it wasn't there somewhere around it's just jesus's torso <laughs> maybe we'll find it one day or his head yeah yeah it's incredibly detailed i want to say maybe it's like pewter pewter which That's probably what it broke yeah it's quite fragile yeah we'll have a close up of that too because it's yeah it's amazing other metal is this but it's all metal yeah really. <laughs> that mum found which is we can't make out all the words but what we can make out is new york cork and cigarette machine so i'm thinking that this is from a new york uh, cork tipped cigarette machine so that may be around the 30s possibly which would fit in with the dump yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's so much writing on it, and unfortunately, we can't. We just can't make out any more. Corroded. It's just copper. Yeah. If you if you clean, try to clean it too much, it just. Yeah. But here are some pictures of the sort of cigarette machines that it could have come off if it's an American one in the 30s, which is pretty cool. This. <laughs> yeah. Don't know about this. Do you think it's the back end of a chicken? I don't know. The base um, looks like the base of a. Uh, Their toy. Yeah. But 
It could be a chicken. It's kind of got some Thank detail. You. Like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, got the pen nib. Oh, I didn't Google McNiven and Cameron. So, McNiven and Cameron Limited, later known as Waverley Cameron Limited, was a printing and stationery company based in Edinburgh, Scotland. Oh. The company was best known for its pen nibs, the Pickwick, the Owl, and the Waverley. Um, I don't know which one this is. It's not a Waverley one. Oh. So the Waverley, oh, the advertising sort of slogan was they came, they came as a boon and a blessing to men, the Pickwick, the Owl, and the Waverley pen. Oh. <laughs> so in 1770, Nisbet McNiven established a paper-making business at Bologna outside Edinburgh, and this firm soon diversified into stationery. In the 1840s, brothers John and Donald Cameron became involved, and the firm became McNiven and Cameron, which is what it says on this pen. Uh, the Waverley nib was invented by Duncan Cameron, another brother, and was unusual in having an upturned point, making the ink flow more smoothly on the paper. Oh. The Waverley was named after the Waverley novels of Sir Walter Scott, which there was still hugely which was still hugely popular at the time. If the factory closed in 1964, and this so this is an earlier one of theirs because it was maybe before the Waverley one was invented, or because they pretty quickly went into being called Waverley. I think. Mm -hmm. So, well, I mean, it could be older. I mean, it would have been. Yeah, I mean, some rubbish. of these things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we found really old things. Yeah. Um, all of that information was just off Wikipedia. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of Boom. typeface. What makes you think it's a spoon? I don't know, because it's so small. I suppose it could be a fork. But I think it's just plating. These are the ones that have... Oh, I know, there's a pile. <laughs> you need to go through the pile. One day... Oh, that was an eight. It's broken. One day, we're going to have to collect all of our typeface and see if we've got... An alphabet. An alphabet and how many we can actually use. Because quite often, they, yeah, they have letters on, but they just don't stamp. No. We do it on the soft surface, we do everything, mm. but they just... There's another one here. They stamp. Oh, yeah. Not... Did I get none of the right ones? Oh, one <laughs> oh, two of these. We've got an eight and a ten here, but yeah, I had lots of letters. But I showed them in the film, so that's okay. <laughs> just sort of rummaged in mm. the pile of metal for crafting. There's also a piece of silver, I think. Possibly it's a piece of silver. Uh, I did have another piece of silver, but it vanished. Even watching the film, I don't mm. know where it went. It was there mm -hmm. on my finger. I went to put it down, it just vanished. It's kind of spooky. <laughs> Didn't want to be found. No. It was cursed silver. So that was it. That was our that was our trip to Metal Metal Beach. Beach. <laughs> Next week is going to be we have something to ask. Don't we? we do. Yes. So we are very very close to thirty thousand subscribers. Mm. Very, very close. Single digits. Yes. So we were thinking that next week, as it's still, it's just so cold and it's difficult to get places at the moment. And so we thought as a celebration of, hopefully, <laughs> reaching 30,000, um, we would do a and a video and sort of a compilation of some of our favourite finds, showing some of our collections, some of our favourite moments of the last four and a half years of mudlark so we will put a community post up as well so you can leave um questions, questions. there and you can leave questions we've never done one before below. have we we haven't no. and we do get a lot of questions yeah so. and we do get a lot of people asking if we do a q a so yeah it seems ideal so that is next week and then it'll be mudlarking again yeah so we hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you as always to all of our wonderful patreons and anyone that donates any other way Thank you so much for every like, comment and subscription. I mean subscriptions especially because we're almost at 30,000. So thank you so much. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> it is completely free. <laughs> and it will make doing the Q&A less embarrassing if we, if we don't make 30,000. <laughs> so we will see you then. Have a good rest of the week. Bye. Bye.